Hello, welcome to another CS341 sample video. Uh, this time we're looking at getting structure from motion, which involves looking at an object from multiple viewpoints and then trying to work out what the 3D structure of that object is. So what we've got here is some sample images which we're going to turn into a 3D model. You can see as I cycle through them just by pressing the next button, the lighting changes quite a lot from one to the other and the viewpoint changes quite a lot from one to the other. But there's also the, the real key thing here is that they're, that they're reasonably good quality pictures, so if we zoom in we can see stuff. But the other really key thing is there's a lot of overlap between them. What happens is, when you're doing stru from structure formation, is you put images like this, where you've got multiple viewpoints of the same kind of thing, same object, into something like Blender, or PMVS, or CMVS, or any, any multi-view stereo system. And what that will do is what's called bundle adjustment. Bundle adjustment is, of course, why bundler is called bundler. Um, and what bundle, adjust bundle adjustment does is it iteratively estimates the 3D position of things in the world, but also the viewpoint. So it's trying to estimate the camera position at each time. And here we've got our wall. And here, in this little PNG file here, which is a visualization of the cameras, you can see the different viewpoints indicated as camera models around the scene. And if you think back to the row of pictures I've just shown you, these look like a reasonable estimate of camera position. Once you've iteratively got the camera positions and you've got approximately 3D location of objects in space, you can begin to integrate these up to make a whole 3D model. What I want to do now is show you the 3D model in MeshLab, which is a means of looking at 3D models in a bit more detail, and it lets you manipulate them, uh, zoom in and out, and uh, take a closer look at what's going on. Um, what we've got here is a kind of default setting for MeshLab, but what we're looking at are the points in 3D space, which is this indicated by this points button up here. We can also look at the wireframe, which instead of colouring the points, colours in the lines between the points. And this is kind of interesting, because you can see quite clearly the structure that's going on, and you can see the detail of the model, particularly if we zoom right in, you can see there's quite a lot of detail going on. Um, and you can see that it's made up of loads of tiny triangles. We can colour in faces rather than lines, and that gives us an even smoother model. And we can choose to do things like turn the light source on and off. So you see things look more structured and more coloured if we have an illumination in the scene. And all of these options have come from MeshLab and enable MeshLab to uh, give you a reasonably detailed 3D model of what's going on. And these have all been generated, the models that you're looking at, the model that you're looking at here has been generated from just a handful of photos. You can see it's not perfect, but you can see it's kind of an interesting 3D representation of the space that we're looking at. Um, okay.